Hello everyone and welcome to Mario Plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle! Yes, I had a failed attempt at recording the Donkey Kong Adventure. This is why I tried to make backups for the main file, but however I was... got a little too far ahead of myself in the Donkey Kong Adventure. I didn't create a copy. I know who those binoculars belong to. Like some work shit needs to be done on the time machine a bit more. Oh dear. So since we unlocked the, uh... Well, this was unlocked beforehand, but... Since it said the Donkey Kong Adventure is now unlocked... This probably takes place after World 1. And Rabbit Luigi is realizing now that this is a bad thing. Somewhere in another dimension. I thought Donkey Kong Island was somewhere off the coast of the Mushroom Kingdom. I could be wrong! I'd be very wrong. Or this could be in on a uh, different island entirely. Yeah, I'm glad that they went this route for the DLC. Because, believe it or not, Grant Kirkhope, the composer for Mario Rabbids, was actually the composer for Donkey Kong 64. As well as Banjo Kazooie. I don't think they're friendly, locals. <laughs> One of them pulled up, pulled up a banana. Oh dear. Ha! <laughs> she left it back in the Mushroom Kingdom! Donkey Kong, the ground pounding primate. Yeah, this DLC was also a great fit because Donkey Kong can have his cool moments and his incredibly goofy moments, which is perfect for the rabbits. Oh man! And Rabid Cranky! The ever grumpy Rabid. A part of him is the horrible abomination that is my spirit air animal. Don't worry, it's not actually him, it's it's more of a freaking uh lab rat. 
accident thing. It's hard to explain. <laughs> Alright, Peach, be just just be grateful you have that. You know. Yeah, truth be told, this game feels a bit more like a sequel. That's if you ask me. Unstoppable! I just beat them all in one turn. Barrel of Rabbids. I I like the clever naming. I see what, what the folks at Ubisoft Milan and Ubisoft Paris did. I saw what you did. <laughs> and Jeff, us like that, I think it's official that that um rabid cranky in inherits it's the wisdom um of his regular counterpart of the regular cranky. But of course he's still a rabbit. Well, that's one way to improvise. Mm. So be it. And it looks like Beepo doesn't really mind that much, kind of. Best cursor. His best cursor. And as you can see, the pipes are kinda... ...replaced with, uh, bananas, coral, and hollow tree trunks. And of course, then there are... ...these kinda pipes. 
I don't know if they actually qualify as pipes. Now, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I don't think I'm gonna unlock everything right away. <laughs> okay, that's cute. However, I think I will come back to this along with the main game campaign in Mario Plus Rabbids so I can get those little details and little things I missed. However, that doesn't mean I won't Oh, stop. Hop and uh, try to find a secret or two. Nice, we have all the 3D models of the. Uh... Team here. Yeah, if you can listen closely, this is actually the music from Donkey Kong 64. One of the tracks from it. Man, it reminds me so much of home. Well, I never actually had a Nintendo 64, but I sure as heck did, did grow up with one. My friends had it in uh, my family, I think. And there was a barber shop that I went to. And it had one for the customers to play with. It was a while back. And, uh, yeah. That's where I probably first played my first Mario game. Super Mario 64. So hearing this theme... theme feels like home. I didn't really get that far in Donkey Kong 64 at the barber shop. I think I only got to, like, outside the island. I was little then. But Mario 64, yeah, I made it to, I think, uh... Uh... Shoot! So long ago! I think maybe the snowman area? Or past Bowser. One of the two. The first Bowser battle. Of course, I eventually got to owning the original and its Nintendo DS remake on the Virtual Console. For the Wii U. And of course, these little rabbit enemies are a new breed. Of enemy exclusive to this DLC. Shh. 
they have the best facial expressions and animations I've seen all day. I think Spawny must have hit Jim Carrey on the way. Yeah, it takes a certain special set of facial mu muscles to pull that off. Trust me, I've tried to do some of the expressions of Jim Carrey. It took me years to get even somewhere close to those expressions. No! Oh, not the warranty! I can't believe it, we have new Donkey Kong mu music from Grant Kirkhope. I don't think I could ask for anything more. Well, other than maybe another Donkey Kong Country game, but you get the gist. Yes, that banana ring is called the potassium pulverizer, from what I'm told. Play a little mind game with these guys. Yeah, as soon as they're damaged, they start to flee. Of course, I didn't use this ability much in my main run, but I should probably do that more so. Take this one, and throw it into that one. Nobody can resist the Donkey Konga. Grab that, head in the pipe, see where we can go. Uh, yeah. uh, uh. 
I'm gonna try to get Rabbit Peach as close as I can to there. Two more tropical ziggies. Wonderful. Both with villain sight. How should I handle this? He's a deployable. I think Donkey Kong has a better range of getting that. And I'll just have Rabbit Peach team jump towards it. Instead of uh, gold, it's bananas instead. See? Neat little detail on the whole banana ring there. like in my last playthrough. I'm really loving the hair effects in the sand particles. Like on Rabbit Kong and Donkey Kong. I can see the grains of sand in Rabbit Pe on Rabbit Peach. Nice. Donkey Kong grab this. Actually, I had a better idea. Of DK grab this dude. And throw him into there. <laughs> 
Now with that vamp effect on him, we can cover health points for Rabbit Peach. Just in case. Good old sentries. They fall for it every time. I don't think I have the cleansing jump activated. Don't! Take this guy, throw him into that one. Place Rabbit Cranky over here. And shoot! Of course, the Smashers will get angry! I don't see things going well for Donkey Kong, though. the sand hey don't you have any respect for your elders
Now I'm gonna see if I can make this sting. It might be strong, but Donkey Kong's stronger. I thought that was sand. Unless it's a bit wet sand. You know, when you uh, dig into the sand, you find wet sand. Well, that explains how they became the Tropical Ziggies. Rabbit Kong did not realize that he was supposed to catch that. So it's the mega bug. Hey. That gave him those new powers. Once again. And wisdom leads us to there. Apparently, the rabid cranky inherited Cranky Kong's wisdom. One of the more intelligent rabbits I've seen. <laughs> if you ask me. Don't get me wrong, I think there might be some mother rabbits with that who are smarter, but at some of the things they do are yeah no. Oh, but you know what? They look like they're having fun doing them. So I can't really blame them. Ah man, the Donkey Kong 64 theme. Theme here. So beautiful hearing it reorchestrated. <laughs> 
Seagull! Yeah, you're gonna see them a bit... A bit more, uh... Mark my words here, people. This pipe had anywhere going? Or... My kind of a doofus for going there. For now, I guess. Alright, let's see if we can understand. Okay, I think I might have an idea on how this puzzle is done. Yeah, my failed attempt, I kind of went searching for that ship a while back. For a little while. So now we don't have to, to like, uh, bum around for it. I'm sorry, I just wanted to... That's one way to open it! Nice, a power ring. Don't worry, he'll be fine, I think. And of course, these seagulls just warm my heart. According to, uh... Um, a uh, little question I asked on Twitter to Grant Kirkhope. Apparently, the seagulls chiming in with the music was not his doing. But rather, I think it was somebody else at Ubisoft. I can't remember his name. I followed him on Twitter. I'm just not very good with remembering names that much. Such in a mass bunch, sometimes. I'm like, like this is why the credits are here, people. This is why we have credits in video games and movies, so you know who 
Who does this stuff? Bad Bananas. They may sound like an indie band, but it's actually... ...the source of Rabbit Kong's new fan powers. They are tainted with the Mega Bug. Probably much to Donkey Kong's dismay. Oh well. It's for the greater good. Also, Bad Bananas sounds more like that one lyric, that one thing from The Grinch. Can't believe we're getting a third Grinch movie. Movie. I, I so far like both of them. Um, even though the Rotten Tomatoes score is not that great. Hey, it's just that Jim Carrey gave us a different look at the Grinch. And there was some real character development there with with the Grinch on why he hated Christmas so much. If you ask me, it was funny and goofy, like the Dr. Seuss way. And that's if you ask me. I heard some people weren't so crazy about it. But you know what, that's okay with me. Yeah, I, I like letting people have their own opinions. Rabbit Cranky would be a better... Yeah, he would. I hope Rabbit Cranky knows how to duck! <laughs> I just love it how they like conk out.
That's one bad banana bunch down. And I think there might be more to go. That's another batch down. High ground damage. This does not. Ah, oh, this is not Rabid Peach's day!
Nice. Well then, that's that for this part. I'll catch you around everyone because I have probably editing on this video to do. I took a bit of a pause break. Between the pauses. So, bye bye